Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow out of Diagnostics. We're at a local shop looking at a 2016 Chevy Express. No crank, no start, apparently no communication. I could not get this thing to talk on the scanner. So let's uh, verify the customer complaint. Key on, dash lights up, no crank. Right away, I want to measure the resistance on pins 6 and 14 at the DLC. Now, you see 0 ohms. Should you get excited about that? Well, no. Turn your meter to volts, and there's still some voltage on the can lines. So, I'm going to disconnect the battery to speed up the process and then measure the resistance. Alright, so battery's disconnected, and we have 0 millivolts on the can lines. Let's measure the resistance. 60 ohms. That's interesting. That means the network is intact. How about that? So now, I want to put an oscilloscope on the can lines and see if there's anything weird going on. Why would this thing not crank and not talk to the scanner? Alright, so after I manually entered the VIN, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 modules online on the low speed. Nothing on the high speed whatsoever, even though we measured 60 ohms. Okay, let's... um. Let's just plug in a scope to pin 6 and 14 and see what happens when we turn the key on. Alright guys, pin 6 and 14, right there. Here's what we have. Obviously this is garbage. There is a module that is doing this. Crazy. Um, so let me record this, save this. Where are the voltage levels? Well can lows at zero, can high is going up to four volts. So can we say that a wire is shorted to ground or there's an open, well there's no open in the network. Print out the schematic or um, information bus here, so we have ECM, engine control module, there's the DLC, body control module, maybe the telematics, but I don't think this thing is OnStar, EBCM going to the automatic transmission assembly. So my game plan is to let's unplug the EBCM just to get it out of the picture and see if our waveform changes um, and at least something comes back online because this to me says a module is acting up it's pulling down you know it's basically filling the entire bus with brrr, these pulses nothing can talk and it's pulling the lines down below the bias voltage so this is a module fault All right, since we only have a few modules on the bus, it might be easier just to pull the power feeds to the modules to disable them without unplugging them. So, first one here is the ABS module, ABS motor and ABS module, 50 amp and 40 amp fuses. Let's pull fuse number two. That's this one right here. Let's see if I can grab it with my fingers or might need a tool. Let me grab a tool. All right, 40 amp fuse is out. Let's roll the scope, turn the key on. Roll the scope and key on. I still don't like it. Still same garbage with the ABS fuse pulled out. All right, for the transmission, pull up wiring diagram. We're interested in fuse F31, F32, 15 amp and a 10 amp. Let's pull those out. TCM fuses pulled, no difference. Well, PCM's unplugged, same garbage. Could this be a short to ground on the can low? The can high can go up to four volts. 
This is an interesting one. Alright, so with the battery disconnected, I'm measuring resistance to ground on the can high and can low. So on the can low, the one that was getting pulled down, we have 15 ohms. And on can high, I expect we'll have 15 plus 60. Yep, there we go, 75. So there's 15 ohms of resistance from can low to ground, but where is it? Is it a wire that's almost rubbed through, some green crusty somewhere? Or is it getting pulled down through a module? That's tough to pinpoint. We have to start unplugging things and breaking the network up into pieces. All right, so we got the ohmmeter outside. We're going for this EBCM. We'll see if the resistance changes if I unplug the EBCM, which lives right up here by the frame rail. Here it is. There's the connector. Let me unclip it. All right, I'm gonna watch the meter as I slide that connector off. Right, let me show you that in the camera. Okay, so 15 ohms. And here we go. Okay, I don't think that worked. Connector is being stubborn. Okay, I think that looks a little better on the grill here. Okay. I actually don't know how to undo this connector. Kilo ohms, huh? Plug it back in. Fifteen ohms. Okay, that's great. We have some change. So we unplug the EBCM. Now we have eighteen kilo ohms on the resistance meter. Let's uh, plug in the scanner, see if we can talk to the engine computer, at least, and the BCM. And then we'll uh, go after the EBCM or the transmission. Alright, scope is rolling. As you can see, the bias voltage has been restored to about 2.5 volts. And turn the key on. There's our nice can waveform. Turn the key off. Pause it. Zoom in. Now we're missing a resistor, but that is much better. We are biased now at two and a half volts. Perfect. Okay, so we're getting close. EBCM or wiring or transmission downstream of the EBCM. How do we, what's our next step here? We're, we're very close. So we're at the EBCM, we unplug this, and the can is restored. So there's a short to ground somewhere on the can low circuit, somewhere in here, from here to here, okay? What we can do now is, uh, again, unhook the battery and do some ohm checks. So at this EBCM connector, we can go... You know, obviously the short's not going to be that way. We can check this line and this line for a short to ground. Um, if it's not in the wiring, it has to be the module. The internal short to ground right here in this EBCM. Then we can jump the pins high to high, low to low, and this truck should start and run and just not have ABS. That's what we want. We want this thing to actually start up today and make sure everything else works before calling any modules. Alrighty, so the four network pins at the EBCM connector. There's high and low, and then it goes towards the TCM and towards the BCM. So pins 23 and 24, I measured two ground resistance. Um, the low side to the BCM was 
20 kilo ohms, that's fine. Low side to the TCM, there's our 15 ohms. And then high side to BCM is 20 kilo ohms, that's fine. High side to the TCM, 135 ohms. So it's going through the terminating resistor to this shorted part. So now we're really close. Let me just show you guys right here. There it is, 16 ohms. So now the problem is somewhere between here and the transmission valve body solenoid assembly. And look, the transmission looks brand new. Well, I wonder if there's something going on in there. But let's uh, keep the ohm meter on here and unplug the transmission itself. And if that resistance goes to infinity, we're done. This thing, the valve body is defective inside the transmission, which is ridiculous. Oh, this is crazy. I was messing around by the transmission and the resistance jumped up to 12 kilo ohms. So I didn't even unplug it. Look at this, this bracket right here. Looks like it's cutting in right into the network wires. Holy crap. That's the fight of the day. Right there, you can see the wires running through. Let me unbolt that, take a picture. Uh, we should be back in action here. Let me plug the EBCM back in, and this truck should fire right up. So even before removing that bracket, let's see if the van starts and runs. Hooray. <laughs> well, let's do a full code scan on it. Reset all the codes. Oh, we got all kinds of good stuff here. Let me, uh, let me do that and then we'll fix those wires up. Alright, so the EBCM is left front wheel speed sensor circuit, low signal amplitude. Let's just try to clear these out, see if they're hard faults or not. Okay, keys on. Okay. Seems to be happy. Huh. Okay. Well, once you once they drive it, it might pop back up. But um, I think we're just about done. Let's, uh, let's go to that bracket and fix up those wires. Alright, let's take this van for a spin. backup camera because no rear windows. Let's see how it drives. There's not much room to get it up to speed here but we'll go around the little block here. Seems to be happy. No warning lights. And we return this one back to the customer. So um, partial short to ground on a wire next to the transmission. So looking at those waveforms you could see signal being pulled down but was it a module or was it a wire? It was a wire. So good thing we found it. Fix no parts required. Customer's gonna be really happy. You can get back to work in this utility van and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.